Hey y'all, it's Sheila. I hope you're having a great day. What are we talking about today? It's all about her. It's all about Miss Lily. Yes. And her nonsense. Hang on. Yes, she's been up to some nonsense. She's too smart for her own good, is what it boils down to. I've mentioned before, Lily has issues with her pancreas. Um, we've had three really bad bouts um, of sickness with her with her pancreas. She's on special dog food. Um, I can only get it from the vet or from a pet food store with a prescription. So, there's that. Uh, Lily has been continuously hungry, begging for food for a week. In the evenings, she will come to us, whine incessantly, bark, yap, yip, whine, cry, and take us to her apartment. Paul's apartment. Apartment. And bump her nose in her food bowl to show us it's empty. The vet wants her to have two, three meals a day. And I've spoken with the vet and we're increasing her food by half a cup each meal due to her hunger. I mean, I don't want her hungry all the time, but I don't want her sick. Her uh, dog food was changed not long ago to a higher, higher fiber version of this gastro dog food. And that helped for a while. She may just be a pig. I don't know. Lily stays in her apartment when we're not here. Her apartment is our former laundry room. It's not a huge room. It was big enough for a washer, dryer, small folding table. The only thing in there now is her bed, uh, her bedding, a shoe rack with my husband's yard shoes on the rack, and a cabinet, uh, like a six-foot cabinet with shelves. Um, she's learned how to break out of her apartment. Over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday morning at 4 o'clock in the morning, here's Lily up on our bed. She sleeps in her apartment. She actually prefers not, she prefers to sleep in her apartment. When we go somewhere, she's left in her apartment. But here she is up on our bed. I want to eat, I want to eat, I want to eat. Yep, 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 yep. Four o'clock in the morning. We used to let her have free roam in the house. She's not a destructive dog. She is 100% housebroken and does not have accidents in the house unless she's having a bout of pancreatitis. That's the only time. Our vet, we've had her to our vet three times with pancreatitis. The first time it happened, we had to go to the emergency vet. And each time we have been over this pancreatitis, the first thing they do is x-ray her for an obstruction. Our vet has told us even the most diligent pet owners from time to time, their, their cat, dog, will get a hold of something they shouldn't. And I'm not talking about food. I'm talking about balls, objects, and they cause an obstruction. And it's about the same um, initial symptoms as pancreatitis. So the first thing they do is x-rays to make sure she doesn't have an obstruction. After our vet told us that and told us how many obstruction cases cases she sees a week when we leave, Lily is in her apartment. She's never minded being in her apartment. Sometimes she'll go to her apartment if we're here and just lay down on her bed. It's not that she doesn't like it. The first day she broke out of her apartment, she took my husband's shoes he wears a size 14. These are big shoes. And she drug them to the door, stacked them up, stood up on them. Her door handle was a lever type. Popped down on the lever and broke out. So Saturday night when we went to bed, I took his shoe rack out thinking, okay, I'll stop you. She drug her bedding. She has two memory foam beds. Uh, occasionally my grand dog is in there with her. He, he prefers to not sleep in the apartment. He prefers to sleep on the den floor, but occasionally he sleeps in there with her. And there's two beds. Well, she drug them together, got them somehow semi-stacked up, stood up on that and hit the lever. 
if she is smart enough to do that, why can't she sit and stay? Why can't she sit and stay? She can see it. She cannot stay. So that's what's been going on here over the weekend. Lily busting out of jail. I'm hoping the extra dog food will keep her a little more satisfied. And we changed her doorknob. She's now got a round doorknob. She hasn't figured that out yet. She hasn't figured out how to twist that doorknob. She's just been full of herself. Just full of herself. Busting out. It's like busting out of jail. I don't know what to do with her. I'm hoping increasing this food. Um, so far over the last day or two, she's seemed more content. She hasn't seemed like she's starving. She's going in for labs um, in the next week or so. They're going to check her thyroid levels um, and see if that cha that has changed. That could be part of it. I don't know. I don't like it when my girl's sick. I don't want her to get sick. Uh, so I'm worried about changing her food regimen, which has worked really well. I'm kind of worried about that, but we shall see. Yep, right by my side. That's my girl. So yeah, today, it's all about Lily. It's all about Lily. You remember that song? It's all about me. Something, something. Well, it's all about Lily. Y'all have a great day. Make it a great day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye now.